Hey, this is Russ. Yeah, you know, I uh, promised you guys that I would do a advanced um, settings for the Magicycle Ocelot Pro and Cruiser Pros, and uh, we're going to do that today. All right. So the things that I'm going to talk about apply to both the Ocelot Pro and Cruiser Pro, as well as the standard Ocelot and standard Cruiser. They use the same display screen. Everything is done exactly the same. So here's how you get into this. Now, I'm sorry for the, the video being mostly dark, but that's what I needed to do in order for you to get a good looking um, uh, view of the screen. All right. So on the left hand side, you're going to have a control that's designed to, to make the changes to your pedal level assists. OK, so um, you want to use that to do the advanced settings. Now there's a plus button, a minus button, and right in the middle there's a I button. And you're gonna use all three. Now if you push and hold the plus minus buttons together, it's gonna get you right into the advanced settings of the screen. Now you see that there's things that are highlighted. The thing in green is wheel. That's the first thing we're gonna talk about. So if you push the I button, okay? Now if you push it, it'll move you to the setting. But if you push and hold it, it'll pop you out of the screen, okay? So you don't want to push and hold, you just want to push the button. Now you see that the wheel is set for 22 inches. You want to leave it at 22. Even though your bike has a 20 inch wheel, you want it at 22 because uh, on the Ocelot Pro, it is 20 inch wheels, okay? So you want to leave it at 22. Now I believe when you're on your Magicycle Cruiser, you have um, 26 inch wheels, you want to leave that at 20. I, I don't know if it's at 27 or 28 whatever the one that's higher than your setting, that's what you want it to be at. And that has to do with the circumference of your, of your tires, okay? So leave it at 22, and you can see as you push up and down on the plus and minus buttons, that'll change it. You want 22 inches for the Ocelot Pro. Push the I button in the middle, and that'll save it, okay? Now, to get to the next screen, all right, from, from going from here to here, um, you just push the minus button. All right, and that'll move you to the next setting. Now you see the speed limit says 25. That has nothing to do with 25 miles per hour. That is just an icon, all right? All right, so um, the Magicycle uh, bikes are set for class two operation when it comes out of the box. So if you push the I button, you'll see that it is set for 20 miles per hour, okay? This 25, again, is just an icon. It means nothing, all right? So you're set at 20 miles per hour. If you wanna go faster than 20, 20 miles per hour in the CIS levels, you want to pass the class two, uh, class two uh, ratings, you can use the plus mi uh, minus buttons and raise or lower the speed. Now the highest you can go to is 28 miles per hour. The lowest is eight miles per hour, okay? So if you want to go to the fastest it's going to go, 28 miles per hour, push the I button and it'll set it. Now again, if you push the I button again, you'll see that it will store the 28 setting, all right? Push the I button again, get out of there, all right? Next thing is brightness. Now, brightness has to do with the screen brightness. If you push the I button, you'll see that you can go up and down. This is how bright your screen will go or how dark your screen will go, okay? And uh, I have it set for five, which is I think the default and that's where it's gonna stay, <laughs> all right? You decide how bright you want your screen. The next level is voltage. Now this is where you can actually tell the, 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 the uh, display screen and menu how much your batteries are set for. Our batteries are 52 volts. You want to leave it there. But again, you can change it, <laughs> but you don't want to do that. You want to leave it at 52. Push the I button, get out of there. Now, if you push the I button, it's not totally out. You can see that you can change voltages here. To get out of that, just keep pushing the I button until it gets you out, all right? Go down one more setting, and you're at the advanced setting. Now, the advanced function is where all the magic actually happens. All right, now some of the things we're on here we're not gonna touch. Speed sensor, I'm gonna leave it at one, that is the default sensing. And uh, the assistant number of 12, that is I think the magnets that are in your, your cadence sensor. You leave that at 12, okay? So I, I leave speed sensor at one, I leave the um, assistant uh, number 12, okay? Now the power set setting is where we wanna make some changes. Now, when you first get your bike, it is set for zero to seven. Zero meaning the, the motor is not helping you at all when you're pedaling. Seven, of course, is the maximum setting. So if you hit the I button, you're gonna see the, 
we have to hit it twice, okay? And you'll see that this is set for 40% motor assist at level one. That is quite hefty, all right? And I've usually told people that you wanna change all of these settings. These are, I think, a little too powerful, especially if this is a brand new bike and you've never been on an e-bike before, that could be a level that'll jolt you right off the bike, all right? It's a very powerful bike, you don't wanna do that. So I've changed mines from not only uh, one to seven, I've actually changed mines to a level of up to nine pedal assist levels. And you could change it if you want or not, it's up to you. But personally, I like um, a nine uh, level of assist. That way I can have some lower levels if I prefer to do it that way. So I'm gonna show you how to change that to nine. So I'm gonna hit the I button just to get all the way through these and get out. Now, here's how you change from zero to seven to one to nine. Push the I button. Okay, whoops, sorry. Let me get out of this one more time. Push the I button so it lights up in yellow for that. Push the plus minus buttons. So you can see, you can set uh, zero to five, one to three. Okay, so you could only have three levels of assist if you want, zero to three. I'm gonna go one to nine, which means I have no zero assist because I always need assist, so I never ride at zero. So I'm gonna go one to nine, push the I button again. And these are the settings that I usually use. Now you can do it that way if you want, or you can change it to something else. But these are the settings. So you can freeze the screen and take a look at them. So I go from a 25 level, which is a lot lower than their 40, and work my way up, okay? But these are the actual percentages that I use on both my, my cruiser bike and my Ocelot Pro. Now, if you want to go to um, other settings, you can do that. You can just change the, the, the levels. So you see if under number one, I'm changing the percentage. So you can pick which percentage you want, but I'm going to leave it at, uh, what did I originally have, 21% or 25%, I'm sorry. I'm going to leave it at 25%, 34, 43, 52, 61, 70, 79, 88, and 96. So you can pick what you like, but these are the settings I happen to have. To get out of it, just keep pushing the I button until it just pops you out of there. Okay? Now current limiting, the next setting here, I put it at 20 amps. Um, that gives you plenty of power to go. Uh, it pushes out enough current that the motor needs to, to fr uh, function properly. You can lower that. That'll probably save your battery a little bit, but you're not going to get the power levels that you want. So I think it comes at 20 amps. I'm, I'm leaving it at 20 amps. All right? Sensitivity, I have it at a sensitivity of two. This is how sensitive um, the, the uh, motor assists are to you. So I leave it at number two. Slow start, I move this uh, different though. Now it originally comes at zero. I push the I button and I can move it to two. Okay, and then push the I button to set it. So I like a two because that, that essentially means it's slow to help. In other words, if you pedal, um, you'll probably need like a full rotation of pedaling before your motor kicks in. If you throttle, if you, have, if you push it down a little bit, uh, it won't do anything. You have to hold it a little bit longer and then it'll start kicking in. The reason I do this is because sometimes you accidentally touch the throttle and the, and the bike jerks. I don't like that, <laughs> okay? Accidental things on the throttle happens a lot. Or if I'm, if I'm, um, if I'm coasting, Okay, and I move my, my, my foot on the pedal, I don't want the motor to immediately start up that quick. So unless I'm actually pedaling, like a full rotation of pedaling, I don't want that motor to kick in. So I put a slow start of two, meaning don't start right away, make a decision how long you want that thing to start up at, and then, then move. So two seems to work for me, okay? Uh, SOCV, this is your battery. Now you can, Push the I button to highlight it at percent. Push the plus or minus buttons to voltage or percent. Now, this shows you a percentage of how much battery you have left. If you push it to voltage, it'll actually tell you the actual voltage of your battery at any given time. Now, advanced users prefer voltage settings. People like me who don't really care less. <laughs> um, I leave it at the percentage. I just like to kind of roughly know, okay, I've got 70% left on my battery or 40% left. Uh, we all know that these aren't 100% accurate, all right? So um, 
I know that for instance on my cruiser, if I drop to about 11%, um, essentially the, the battery's ready to stop, right? So it doesn't go all the way down to zero, so you just have to kind of know what your batteries are capable of doing. All right, let's drop down to, to, um, to uh, set clock. And this is just like any, anything else, you hit the I button once, it highlights it, hit it again, and then you set the timing. Okay, so everyone knows how to set their time. Um, you just kind of pop through here and put the time through. And then um, move down to back and it'll go back to the main screen. The next thing, hit the minus button, goes to dormancy. This is how long do you want this bike to, to last before it shuts itself down if nobody touches the bike, okay? The, the default is five minutes. I'm gonna give it, uh, say, eight minutes. So if nobody touches the bike in eight minutes, the bike will shut itself down, all right? Hit the minus button to get to the next screen. Unit. In the United States, we use Imperial units. Push the plus button. Or if you're like in the UK, you might use the metric, okay? Or anywhere in Europe, you're gonna use the metric. But here in the United States, we are Imperial, so I'm gonna set that at Imperial. Uh, the next one is password. I do not use this at all. I do not suggest you use it at all. If you forget your password, you're never gonna be able to start your bike. And don't try contacting MagiCycle because they don't know your password either, right? So the only way to fix this if you've forgotten your password is to buy another display screen, and that is expensive. So I don't do it, but if you are able to remember your passwords all the time and you don't want people starting your bike without knowing the password, this is how you do it, okay? I personally don't use that, so I'm going to get out of it, right? So it says back, so I'm going to get back. Hit the minus button to go to the next thing. Factory is where you set factory reset. So it says, do you want to restore the factory setting? Well, I'm going to say no <laughs> at this point because we just made a bunch of changes and I want to change it all again. Hit the I button to, to, to select that selection of no or yes. Display, okay, this is um, where you reset your trip meters. Now, the Magic Cycle will stay with the trip meter continuously going even if you stop the bike come back to it the next day, the trip meter stays at where you were last time. So if you're doing a seven day bike ride, and you wanna know what your total trip is, this will keep it. Other bikes will reset every time the power goes off. That's not good. But if you do wanna reset it, you can do it here. Uh, push it until it highlights in, into, a, into a yellow setting. And then um, you can use up and down buttons and say yes, and then hit the I button to set it. And it'll say it's been cleared, go back and it essentially would have cleared your settings. So we'll go down to the exit and it'll exit out and you'll see that the trip is still set at 0.0, .0 okay? So um, anyways, that is all of the main settings you need to know for the advanced functions. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave co comments on, the question, uh, on any questions. Leave a comment in the comment section. I'll try my best to answer it for you. Uh, and if I can't, maybe other people can help you and answer as well. Anyways, if this has been helpful for you, go ahead and hit the like button and definitely hit the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed. And um, I'll talk to you guys next time.